Yo, what's up, YouTube? Today we're checking out Joker because we just came off Christopher Nolan's Batman trilogy, and it seemed pretty apparent to me that the standout character in that trilogy was definitely the Joker. You guys immediately said we need to check out this version of it, so this was directed by Todd Phillips, and I'm really excited to see what he does with the character. Sorry, bugging my face. <laughs> But guys, before we get into it, who is your favorite version of the Joker? So yep. far, we've seen Heath Ledger, and I think right now we're checking out Jacqueline Phoenix. Yeah, Jacqueline Phoenix. Who yeah. was Commodus in Gladiator, and he did a fantastic job being a villain there, so it's going to be an interesting to see This is him. Commodus from Gladiator. Yeah. Okay. The guy was definitely familiar to me, but now it makes sense. Right. Guys, I'm ready to watch this. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon if you guys want to see the full uh, reaction to these. You know, you don't need no sync up, nothing like that. You just click play, and voila. Let's go. Let's go. When the cops come, warn a brother. A garbage strike. Edward O'Rourke is declaring a citywide state of emergency. It's something that affects almost everyone in the city, no matter who they are or where they live. So their town sucks, basically. He just smiled like he loves it or something. That was weird. I don't know, like, what the heck? What a start. Oh, someone's playing that live. So he's like a sign spinner? Oh, nice. Them rotten teenagers. Man, he might got hit by a car. Oh, there's that trash. He's committed to getting that thing, though. I'll tell him that. Bro. Gosh, dang. Did you see that thing just fall apart, though? That was a cheap sign. Oh, dang. Oh, my gosh. So Jack is signing and then jump him? Tough city, man. I'm not gonna like clowns are creepy, but like you know, pop this flower. Well, <laughs> why is he laughing? If he's the one that just got beat up, then that's not funny. Oh, you either laugh or you cry, huh? Yeah, I get that. <laughs> I never got my ass beat that hard. That's probably a good ab workout, though, because when I laugh, my stomach hurts. <laughs> is it just me, or is it getting crazier out there? It is certainly tense. People are upset. These are tough times. <laughs> Have you been keeping up with your journal? Yes, ma'am. Did you bring it with you? Can I see it? This is giving me anxiety. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's sort of the point, right? He's riddled with it. I've been using it as a, as a journal. But also as a joke diary, I'm pursuing a career in stand-up comedy. I hope my death makes more sense I than my life. My death makes like more sense, sense than my life. How does it feel to have to come here? I think I felt better when I was locked up in the hospital. What the? I was wondering if you could ask the doctor to increase my medication. Arthur, you're on seven different medications. Surely they must be doing something. I just don't want to feel so bad anymore. It's crazy because there's a bunch of people like that. That was like dark that he said that. How many people do you know that's on a ton of medications like that? You know what I'm saying? But he's like seeking help. He like wants to feel better. That's sad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Can you stop bothering my kid? I wasn't bothering Just him. stop. Was... <laughs> oh. <laughs> what, you think that's funny? <laughs> He's like saying no, but laughing still. Because the Joker always laughs? I'm sorry, I have a... <laughs> Forgive my laughter, I have a condition. I have a medical condition causing sudden and frequent uncontrollable laughter that doesn't match how you feel. It can happen to people with a brain injury or certain neurological conditions. Thank you. Oh. oh. So, he... so it's uncontrollable. Yeah, but is that for real or is he just like doing that? Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, like. She just rolled her eyes because she's like, I can't say anything, especially in this day, day and age. And he was just trying to be innocent to a kid in that moment, and he got straight attacked for it. So he probably just feels like it is getting worse out there. 
And look at all the trash. Like, just look at this place. Graffiti and trash. Look at the uphill climb he's against. The metaphors, the symbolism. There's light. Look, <laughs> you know? He's like, there's hard times in the streets, but there's a light at the end of it. It's all behind me. Maybe he's got a bright idea. <laughs> there, I mean, there's so much symbolism in these movies, for real. There's a prison. E. Fleck. So, Arthur Fleck. Maybe. Yeah, mom. Nothing. Lives with his mom. Authorities are saying the city is under siege by scores of rats. Oh no. Let me stop you. Hard to kill. I worked for that family for years. The least you could do is write back. He said Wayne. Mm -hmm. You need to eat. How skinny you are. He'll make a great mayor. Everybody says so. He's the only one who can save the city. Come sit. It's starting. So he's like the late night host. <laughs> so Robert De Niro's in this. I didn't know. <laughs> he's the late night host. Oh, he's there? I thought he was watching it in the room. So it's like a flashback or something. about the super rats that are in Gotham now, right? We were just talking about that. Right. Today, the mayor said he has a solution. Super cats. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Was that you? You want to stand up, please? What's your name? Arthur. Arthur. My name's Arthur. Where are you from? I live right here in the city with my mother. <laughs> Hold on, there's nothing funny about that. I lived with my mother before I made it. I'm that kid whose father went out for a pack of cigarettes and he never came back. Oh. I know what that's like, Murray. I've been the man Still of the house for as long as I can remember. My stepmom did that for real. <laughs> she always tells me to smile and put on a happy face. She says I was put here to spread joy and laughter. I like this party in there. Come on down. Come on. For that, you gotta come down. Have we put together, is this a memory or a... He was watching it with his mom and now he's just here. And it's present because they were talking about the super rats. I know. Because he said, get him with super cats. Okay, we got a big show tonight. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. You see all this, the lights, the show, the audience, all that stuff. I'd give it all up in a heartbeat to have a kid like you. Psh, no one's that good, right? Did he just fantasize that? Like he fantasized it or dreamed it or something, daydreamed it. I think he just had a fantasy, bro. Because he was with his mom. That was weird, babe. Yeah. But kind of wholesome. It was like he just wants like, like a dad or something. Or somebody did not think he's weird. Dang, he's beat up. Hey, Randall, hey. what's up? Another day in Chuckletown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're all clowns. You okay? I heard about the beatdown you took. It was just a bunch of kids. I should have left it alone. No, we will take everything from you if you do that. Jeez Louise. Yeah. Take it. <laughs> you gotta protect yourself. Oh, wow. Whoa. I was not expecting that. I, I thought it was a sandwich. Person. What a homie. I'm not supposed to have a gun. Because he's been in the psych ward. Right. No one has to know. And you can pay me back some other time. You know you're my boy. <laughs> Arthur. I'm Wait, a little sus. See you in his office. Hey. That, he was on Game of Thrones. Do you people call it miniature golf, or is it just golf to you? That's the one who played Tyrion, the little guy in the, yeah. He played Tyrion in the play, guys. Comments. <laughs> <laughs> His laugh, though, is... It's scary, dude. It's weird. Hello, Hoyt. How's the comedy career? Are you a famous stand-up yet? Not quite. I've just been working on my material. A lot of the guys, they think you're a freak, but I like you. But I got another complaint. Uh, the guy said you disappeared. Never even returned his sign. Because I got jumped. Just give him his sign back. Why would I keep his sign? How the fuck do I know? Why does anybody do anything? If you don't return the sign, I got to take it out of your paycheck. Are we clear? Listen, I'm trying to help you. He can't even defend himself. Like He can't put words together. He's so... Right. Like he's just so overwhelmed right now. Just stomping out of a trash can. He said, I'm sick of these these government regulations. I'm not picking up this trash. That is terrible. Like, y'all can't burn it? No, you can't burn trash. 
You want to open up the ozone layer? <laughs> uh, uh, delete that part. <laughs> it's okay, but you're not a scientist. Right, I've never had a trash overflow problem. Just take it to the dump. Where have I seen her? Domino. Deadpool. Oh, Deadpool 2. She's the one that was lucky, you remember? Uh -huh. <laughs> Extremely. It's so awful, isn't it? It's been so awful, right, Mommy? Yes, we can hear you, Gigi. Right, Mommy? <laughs> he was like, I love that. It's been right. so awful. You said you keep that up. I'm gonna take you in that back room and screw you. <laughs> <laughs> no country for old men. Hey. Okay, guys, that was strange. This sounds like some Fallout music, doesn't it? Mm. You were for me, what, 30 years ago? Thomas Wayne is a good man. If he knew how we were living, if he saw this place, it would make him sick. I don't want you worrying about money, Mom. Everybody's telling me that my stand-up's ready for the big clubs. But Happy, what makes you think you could do that? Don't you have to be funny to be a comedian? <laughs> Yikes. Well, maybe you just don't have a sense of humor, Mom. Imagine if Jerry Seinfeld's mom told him that. What do you think so far? Maybe you liking this? To His me, laugh. it's like, to me, it's just like stressful. Like, I've His, just had nothing but stress. You, this is like invoking so much anxiety for you, is it not? His laugh is demonic, isn't it? Right. I, but the the thing that I'm noticing is I feel bad for the dude. Yeah. I feel bad because he's essentially handicapped in a way. Right. He's, he he's handicapped that. there and he's handicapped in a bad city as well, if you want to consider that. Right. Yeah. I cannot believe someone gave him that, though. Yeah, he's a little crazy for that. Hey, what's your name? Arthur. Hey, Arthur. You're a really good dancer. No, it's not. Him. <gasps> oh, my. You better hang a picture. I'm watching an old war movie. <laughs> An old war movie. Good thing trash is a huge problem there. They won't even care about that. So he's going to take the Joe approach, huh? Just become a straight stalker. <laughs> no, he's taking the AC3 approach. What's that? Oh, Assassin's Creed. Where you put the hood up <laughs> and you blend like in. A Assassin's Creed character, only. She went into the bank. I have a wife. We love to role play. Yes. Professor and senior who really needs to pass my class to graduate. I'm a professor at a prestigious New England university. <laughs> and my wife is a senior in my intro to Western Civ. So she comes to me during my office hours. <laughs> professor Lewis. <laughs> I can't use my real last name at this point. <laughs> Something I'll address once I have tenure, but for now, I'm willing to do anything to pass. I said anything, and she said, uh, I was taking, taking notes. notes. That guy's not really funny, though. Yeah, he's he kind of stale. And he was like, it sounded like he was fake laughing at him. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> unless that thing was true and he can't control it. Maybe he was laughing because he thought he sucked and he was angry. Because he's not <laughs> successful like him or something. What is this? What is this little. As if you don't. People expect you to behave as if you don't smile. Oh, you, I, I didn't. I didn't think that was the end of the sentence. Hey, are you following me today? What? Yeah. I thought that was you. I was hoping you'd come in and rob the place. I have a gun. I come by tomorrow. <laughs> he so really does. Like he might that. accidentally shoot you. Uh, do you stand up comedy? You should maybe come see a show sometime. I could do that. You let me know when? Hmm. Well, that was slick. So he'll just take any gig as a clown, huh? He needs to make money for him and his mama. That would be so scary, though. <laughs> oh, he's got the gun on him. 
Oh my gosh. Awkward. <laughs> Wait. That was weird. I love this job. Daughter, I need to know why you brought a gun into a kid's hospital. It's a prop. What kind of clown carries a fucking gun? One who got their ass beat. Right. Randall told you that? Fuck up, Arthur. You're fired. Oh, shoot. That's what he did in the insane asylum. Hit his head against that glass. He's built up that nerve out there. Look how much graffiti, though. I'm telling you, she wanted my number. You should have just stayed. Hey, you want some price fries? Hand him over. Talking to you, hey. No, thank you. Don't ignore him. He's being nice to you. <laughs> mm mm. <laughs> He's already got beat up this week. You don't want to get beat up twice. But isn't that bad in her point of view? You got to look to the clown. Like you're over there with that. You got to look to the clown for safe, safety. <laughs> yeah, that would suck. Is something funny, asshole? <laughs> Is it rich? <laughs> I really don't know who's weirder. They got laughing or they got singing to him. One who keeps tearing around. Where are the clouds? What in the See, heck, He's dude? really nervous. That's why he's laughing like that. So he ain't lying about his condition. <laughs> he didn't even hand the card over, did he? I have a condition. I'll tell you what you have, you asshole. <laughs> Not again, man. Tell you what though, that Joker's gonna toughen up if he's ever gonna fight Batman. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh! Oh shoot! Oh. Oh. Oh man, he tried. This is why you'd be nice to everyone, you guys. Yo, he just straight snapped, dude. When he said that, did that mean that it, did that imply remorse or did that imply like, oh, he what just, am I going to do? I think he just snapped like he just lost it in that moment. I don't think he realized, you know what I'm saying? It seemed like he didn't. He was shocked. I'm shot. What? Is he just doing some moves to calm himself down? It seems like it, right? I mean, it's obviously a crazy coping mechanism. Yeah, because most people would be like washing the evidence, like cleaning their fingernails, taking their clothes off. Do you think that meant like, I have arrived? Maybe. Oh. Okay, so that was some character development. Right. Killed a couple rich, snobby dudes, and now he's just full of confidence says right here was a mask. Either way, I think it's good for business. Hey, Alpha, I heard what happened. Sorry, mate. He's like, I don't want to hear it. Is that part of your new act, Arthur? If the dance goes into the trick, you're just going to shoot yourself? <laughs> Why don't you ask Randall about it? It was his gun. What? I still owe you for that, don't I? Stop talking out of your ass, Art. <laughs> What? He was said it was his oh, boy. No. I forgot to punch out. <laughs> hey, when they fire you. Yeah. yeah, but it seems like he's really losing it, though. Right. That guy didn't even act like he gave him the gun. He was like, what? Hear my name. He was scared of getting kicked by some 12 year olds. And now he's breaking his hands on things. Don't smile. We're joined by Thomas Wayne. Happy look, Thomas Wayne's on TV. They're asking him about those horrible subway murders. Oh, yeah. These young men were Looks like he's gained weight. Why is she so obsessed with him? She said she worked for him. Her family. See. Do you hear that? I told you, we're family. Groundswell. 
are taking the side of the killer. Yes, and it's a shame. It's one of the reasons why I'm considering a run for mayor. Gotham has lost its way. What kind of coward would do something that cold-blooded? Someone who hides behind a mask. Someone who is envious of those more fortunate than themselves. And until those kind of people change for the better, those of us who have made something of our lives will always look at those who haven't as nothing but clowns. Oh, dang. <laughs> He really didn't like that, did he? Right. He felt really offended by that. I heard this song on the radio the other day, and the guy was singing that his name was Carnival, which is crazy because that's my clown name at work. Until a while ago, it was like nobody ever saw me. Even I didn't know if I really existed. Arthur, I have some bad news for you. You don't listen, do you? You just ask the same questions every week. Are you having any negative thoughts? All I have are negative thoughts. Yeah, she but seems robotic, listen, she? I said, for my whole life, I didn't know if I even really existed, but I do. They've cut our funding. She just because ignored that. This is next week. This is the last time we'll be meeting. Wow. This city is corrupt, man. Well, that was government funded. A government funded, you know. They don't give a shit about people like you, Arthur. I didn't realize that. And they really don't give a shit about people like me either. Am I supposed to get my medication now? Oh, no. That's why I was shocked because I was like, man, he's relying on them for medicine. Yeah. Most guys we look at sex like parking a car, we're like, there's a spot. Handicaps. Hope no one sees this. <laughs> oh, so he's finally getting a shot at the big show. Yeah. Maybe we'll react to him on our other channel. Right. Right now, this next comic describes himself as a lifelong Gotham resident who was always told that his purpose in life was to bring laughter and joy into this cold, dark world. Was that her? Please yeah. Please let me welcome Arthur Fleck, y'all. Oh, let's go. He's getting a shot. And he's got the girl. His mama said he wasn't funny, so let's see. Yeah. I mean, he's been writing down jokes and taking notes. I believe in him. <laughs> oh, no. Hello, it's good to be here. <laughs> that sucks. He's bombing. Mm hmm. <laughs> I hated school as a kid. <laughs> My mother would say, you should enjoy it. One day you'll have to work for a living. No, I won't, Ma. I'm going to be a comedian. <laughs> I mean, she liked it, I guess. That was terrible. Um, oh, gosh. I was always nailing it. So you're... I guess he turned that junk around. Yeah, but like he said, why are the rich people? Oh, and they all loved it. That's all he said. Oh, like the, okay, I see. The crowd hates the rich in this. Like everyone's against the rich. When you be look at the trash. <laughs> Gotta blame someone. You see the sun. I think the guy that did it is a hero. Three less pricks in Gotham City. Only a million more to go. <laughs> you must keep them. What's the that looks like the mask off uh, the Dark Knight, doesn't it? Mm hmm Have you noticed how many pharmacies mm -hmm. have been in this movie? I guess the implication is everyone's on like some type of pills or something. Good night, and always remember, that's life. Oh, he's just happy because he killed it at that show. Happy, I wrote a new letter. Mom, thanks for me. You smell like cologne. It's because I just had a big date. He's confusing because at certain moments he's so erratic he can't hold it together and then in other moments he's completely sociable. Almost like too sociable. Like real friendly. Thomas Wayne. Yeah, he's supposed to go mail it. She puts a lot of stake in working for him. I'll give her that. Your son and I need your help? Your son? The Joker can't be the Batman's brother in this because he's talking to Batman's dad right now. Uh, and she used to work for him 30 years ago, about the same age she is. Arthur, and me and your son, Arthur is a good boy. Maybe a little sad, but... Goodness. That's why she's so obsessed with that. I love you forever. Well, he must have moved on from her and just left her then. Right. He ain't got nothing to do with her. He's gonna move on. Got a whole new family. You're gonna kill me. You're gonna give me a heart. I'm not angry, Mom. I'm not angry. Is this real? We were in love. 
He said it was best that we not be together because of appearances. <laughs> I signed some papers. A non-disclosure um, agreement? Because she was an employee? Say about Thomas and me and you probably gave her money to hush her up. Now she thinks she can get more. What would they say, Mom? That never came up in the Christopher Nolan version. Mm-mm. But remember, he did say, like, we're stuck together. Me and you, Batman. We're, like, together, basically. Oh, no. That's gonna go in his little book. So, so far, dude, he's just been hit with a freaking triple whammy. Mm -hmm. He hasn't really caused it. Is that little Batman? The only thing he really has done to himself, I think, is taking the gun. Yeah. To the hospital, but everything else was sort of out of his control. He but just, he's the gun hit. to the hospital is because he just got beat up. Like he was well, yeah, scared but... as heck by people. That's a scary town. Well, you you should you should do the right thing and have a license and crap though. I know. Strap that thing to your leg. <laughs> you know, like do something. Get a holster. Um. <laughs> oh. Now, like, what's Rudolph doing here? <laughs> Ain't Christmas. They have no security, though. <laughs> Zero. What's going to happen? <gasps> Tough act, because that was pretty impressive, in my opinion. Yeah, I would definitely have a conversation with a stranger, too, if he did that. Mm -hmm. What's your name? I'm Bruce. <gasps> oh, that is Batman. Why are you sticking your damn thumbs in his mouth for? I know, Bruce. Why are you not slapping someone? Get away from that man. It's okay. I'm a good guy. What are you doing? Who are you? I'm here to see Mr. Wayne. Why did you give him these flowers? No, they're not real. Yeah, you gave him flowers and stuck your fingers in his mouth. Magic. <laughs> Do I need to call the police? No. My mother's name is Penny Fleck. She used to work here years ago. Can you please tell Mr. Wayne I need to see him? You are her son. I know about the two of them. There's nothing to know. Your mother was delusional. She was a sick woman. Don't. What to believe? Just go before you make a fool of yourself. Thomas Wayne is my father. This is Alfred. <laughs> you left me. What the heck was that about? So they're saying that there was an affair. And the other party's saying, nah, she was just crazy. She, she was delusional, yeah. Who to believe? Because I could see how she could get really screwed over by getting involved in something like that. But I can also see how maybe she's delusional. I mean, I could also see how just claiming that create a lot of hush yeah. money too, you know? Oh my gosh. She she got that upset because of the argument they were in. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess he found out the whole truth. Like, why would she write that note if it wasn't true? You know, I don't know. I know. That's what makes Unless it she's like crazy. Right. She could have just fantasized the whole thing. Yeah, and he has uh, fantasies. Right. He has yeah. them too, so it could be genetic. Mr. Fleck, sorry to bother you. I'm Detective Garrity. This is my partner, Detective Burke. We spoke with your mother. What did you say to her? Did you do this? No. No, no, no. We just asked her some questions. She got hysterical, hyperventilating, oh. collapsed, and hit her head yeah, pretty Yeah, the hard. doctor said she had a stroke. But like I said, I still have some questions for you. They're about the subway killings that happened last week. You've heard about them, right? Yeah. It's horrible. So we spoke with your boss over at Ha Ha's. He said you were fired for bringing a gun into the children's hospital. It's part of my act. I'm a party clown. All right, so why were you fired? They said I wasn't funny enough. Can you imagine that? This condition of yours, the laughing, is it real? Some sort of clown thing. A clown thing? Yeah. Part of your act? What do you think? Damn. He makes this so confusing, you know? <laughs> you know, but normally when he gets nervous or something, he starts laughing, but he wasn't nervous at right. all to talk to them. He was stone face. And it was about something he did. Right. Yeah, I know about him, so what? She's gonna be okay. Isn't it weird that her daughter's like never with her with him? Wait, where is she? Right. I mean, I get it's a hospital, weird setting, but like. I, I told him that the garbage strike is still going on, Billy. Billy says, so where are we gonna get all our garbage from? <laughs>
the elites making fun of their common people's problems. Here's a guy who thinks if you just keep laughing, it'll somehow make you funny. <laughs> he called him a joker. <laughs> so he went like viral. My mother would always say, One day you'll have to work for a living. No, I won't, Ma. I'm going to be a comedian. <laughs> but then he kills it. So why didn't I show that part? <laughs> you should have listened to your mother. <laughs> That's confusing. Hey, one more. One more, Bobby. Oh, here. When I was a little boy and told people I was going to be a comedian, everyone laughed at me. Well, no one's laughing now. That was what he said. But he said something about rich say people. That again, pal. All right. Got a great show for you tonight. Oh, he's pissed. Look at that magazine. Kill the rich and he moved me. Yeah, it was a newspaper. Protesters, many dressed as clowns, took to the streets today in one of several planned demonstrations taking on the city's elite. The rich. Time this way. That's what this whole thing is about. So system. Wayne, who Whoa. recently announced he's running for mayor, you might remember it was Thomas Wayne who first referred to many of Gotham's residents as clowns. Today, he offered little in the way of an apology. I am here to help them. I'm going to lift them out of poverty, help make their lives better. Dang, so they embraced that crap when he said that. Well, one thing about Batman's dad, he's a little tone deaf in this one. But he's still saying he's going to save them, so maybe he's still a good guy. Oh, well, yeah, baby, but that's more of a vote for me or die type of campaign strategy you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Really he kind of symbolized the joker <laughs> thomas wayne yeah hey, what kind of jump down <laughs> he he well, that was easy it's caused a little drama out there I guess since he's a clown, he knows his way around a costume room. <laughs> yeah. What is that, a theater? Oh, it was Charlie Chaplin. You think he just wants to be close to like his dad? Oh, I didn't even realize that was him though. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's why he broke in, but okay, now I see. But he wants to, like, be close to his dad, I guess, or talk to him? You know, yeah, I guess he just wants to confront him and figure out who he is. Mm -hmm. Can I help you, pal? I don't know what to say. Do you want an autograph or something? No. My name is Arthur. Penny Fleck is my mother. You're the guy that came to my house yesterday. Look, pal, You're... I'm not your father. Look at us. I think you are. Well, that's impossible. Because you were adopted, and I never slept with your mother. I mean, what do you want from me, money? No, I don't. I wasn't adopted. She's, she never told you? This is about to set him over the edge. Working for us. That's not true. And she was arrested and committed to Arkham State Hospital. Why are you saying this? I don't need you to tell me lies. I don't mean to make you uncomfortable. I don't know why everyone is so rude. I don't know why you are. I don't want anything from you. Maybe a little bit of warmth. Maybe a hug, Dad. What is it with you people? You say that stuff to my mother? She's crazy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I'm like back and forth. <laughs> what do I believe? <laughs> Caught him with that straight right. <laughs> right. I, I, I believe it. I, I, I don't think that that's his dad at all. He wouldn't, I think have, he's telling the truth. He wouldn't have punched him in yeah, his He doesn't junk. know that guy. That's just a random loony. He doesn't know him. Maybe the mom was like in love with him or something. I think the mom's as crazy as he is. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah, for real. Again, Detective Garrity, and my number is one two. What is going on? Maybe he has a migraine. Sometimes, like cold areas. My name is Shirley Woods. I work on the Murray Franklin Show. Murray asked me to give you a call and see if you're. Who is this? I'm the show booker from Live with Murray Franklin. Is no way. Friend? His dream come true, basically. They were mocking him though, right? He'd love to talk to you, maybe do some of your act. Yeah, that sounds great. Did that just piss him off? It looked like it did, but it he accepted it, right? Right, but he looks 
distressed because he knows that he's making fun of him, right? Or no? I don't know. Because he's also not good at comedy, but he thinks he's good at comedy. And he doesn't have enough self-awareness. Well, to why realize. was the audience cheering him on in real time, remember? He said something about the rich and they were cheering It'll, him on. We'll figure it out in the end. It'll all come full circle, I'm sure. So he's gonna go try to find the truth if his mom was there? Or his papers, maybe. Because he did, just found out he exists. Hey. Sorry about that, my man. How does someone wind up in here? All the people committed crimes? Well, yeah, some have. Some are just crazy, pose dangers to themselves and others. Some just got nowhere else to go. Don't know what to do, you know? I hear you, brother. Sometimes I don't know what to do. Last time I ended up taking it out on some people, I thought it was gonna bother me, but it really hasn't. <laughs> What's that? I'm done some bad shit. <laughs> Why are you telling him? <laughs> I'm just an administrative assistant. Right, he got hired from the temp service. Done. He's like, that's above my pay grade, bro. Somebody. You know, they got programs. Not funded. Oh, uh, yeah. They cut all those. Penny Fleck, I see. Delusional psychosis and narcissistic personality disorder was found guilty of endangering the welfare of her own child. And that would be him. Well, what does she do, though? You said she's your mom? I'm sorry, man. Like I said, I can't release these records, you know. Oh, he's snatching them. That head against he used the wall it, yeah, thing. Yeah, he used his head works. for some momentum. That was wild. Like the recoil of his head bouncing off. He's a headbutter, ain't he? Yeah, he is. What, what the heck's he about to find out, though? That's the scary part. Cause what if it's just so opposite? Cause that's how this movie is. It's like one thing and not. Oof. Department of Health. Physical abuse. Whoa, he was adopted. We went over this, Penny. You adopted him. That's not true. Abandoned. Thomas had that all made up. So it stayed our secret. You also stood by one of your boyfriends repeatedly abused your adopted son and battered you. <laughs> so he doesn't even remember that. Mother of adopted child of her son's abuse. House of terror. So that's why he's so cuckoo bananas. I guess so. Your son was found tied to a radiator, malnourished with multiple bruises across his body and severe trauma to his head. <laughs> Oh, oh my man. god, that hurts, man. See, and that's wild. Like the more emotional he is, the harder he laughs. It's just <laughs> that's sad, dude. And he just blocked it all out. So he has some real issues. Like they're so deep. That moment hurt. This guy right here is perfect for this role. I can't even believe this is the dude from freaking Signs. Or Gladiator, honestly. This is what, 19 years apart from Gladiator? And he's just been balling. He's still good. Oh, he's at her house. Oh my God. What are you doing in here? You're in the wrong apartment. Your name's Arthur, right? Your name's Arthur? Live down the hall, that's your boyfriend. I really need you to leave. My little girl is sleeping in the other room. And maybe this is before. I have a Can I call someone? Is your mother home? What? Oh, he made the he made the whole thing up. She so was he's, never there. So he has like psychotic episodes too and he he also sees things just like his mom did oh so man. some of the story we seen could have not happened i get yeah i guess some of it's not real like he made all that stuff was made up yeah because sometimes he won't be uncontrollably laughing sometimes he'll just be handling it like a Hold boss on. can i pause it yeah let me make sure i'm not confused so he went into her apartment and then she walked in and didn't know who she was or right. who he it's was the guy down the hall so this whole time the same way he made a he was fantasizing about being at that show in the beginning he like was the very fantasizing first time, her 
he made her up too. Wow. Which makes me wonder what else in this movie was made up. Right. I, and now I don't even know. I'd have to rewatch it right. to even tell. What the heck? So this guy's losing it. And now he's on his way to that show where they're mocking him. Oh my gosh. But he's laughing sometimes so crazily and sometimes he's not. So that's what I'm like. When is he in or out of his? Oh, they're coming too. <laughs> Remember he said he didn't know if he existed? So weird. He's spooking in her freaking I hated that name. Her medical room. You know, they used whatever. to tell me that my laugh was a condition. That there was something wrong with me. There isn't that's a real me. I haven't been happy one minute of my entire fucking life. I used to think that my life was a tragedy. But now I realize he's about to say it's a comedy. It's a comedy. Oh man. So instead of crying, he's gonna laugh metaphorically and symbolically. But you know he's like kind of the icon of the city right now. Is that true? Well, I think that action that he committed, but no one knows who he is, right? Dang, and he just killed his mom, adopted mom. Wow. A very fine actor. So he's like warming up, huh? Yeah, he's like, this is all that matters to him, I guess. <laughs> he's not even sad that he just killed his mom. We said earlier he committed a terrible act and thought he'd feel bad about it, but he doesn't. Hey, Murray. Thanks so much for having Hey, Murray. Thank you so much for having me on the show. It's been a lifelong dream of mine. Hey, Murray. I've been on. I'm sorry, what's that? You know, I'm also a comedian. Would you like to hear a joke? Knock, knock. Oh, snap. Knock, knock. What? Jeez. He's gonna kill himself when he goes? This movie has me captivated. I'm lost for words over here. Cause I just, oh, the iconic. Oh, the Sean O'Malley. <laughs> Getting ready for the sugar show. Shot down in May, but I know I'm, that's life. That's life. On a dream. That mask is definitely from the Dark Knight. He's gonna go on there like that. Cause this fine old work. I've been a puppet, a pauper, a I don't think that works like that. Each time I find huh. I pick myself. Who's that? His mom, but that that said Thomas Wayne. I love your smile, dot 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 TW. You better not be writing that on some lady's picture, you know what I'm saying? Coming! Hey, Arthur. How's it going? Oh, hey, guys. Come on in. That was his boss, right? No, the guy who got the gun. That was, yeah, that was the guy who got him the gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The big guy. My mom died. Celebrating. Right. Uh, we heard. That's, that's why we came by. I figured... Yeah, you could use some cheering up. I stop taking my medication. I feel a lot better now. How scary would that be? Those are some real friends, though. There's the only people who really look out for them. The cops have been coming around the shop, talking to all the guys about those subway murders. And, um, they didn't talk to me. That's because the suspect was a regular-sized person. <laughs> Who's a fucking midget? You'd be in jail right now. <laughs> <laughs> He just put out a cigarette on the wall casually. Hoyt said that uh, they talked to you, and I just want to know what you said. Make sure our stories line up, seeing yeah. as how. Randall, thank you so much. I just want to. Oh! What the? Oh! Whoa. What? Gruesome. Why would you do that? <laughs> you can't kill that little dude. He's so nice to you. I know. He brought a, a thing of wine. I was like, hey, mate. Brought some of that snoop. <laughs> that 19 <laughs> crimes. <laughs> yeah. Did you watch the Murray Franklin show? I'm gonna be on tonight. Uh, it's fucking crazy, isn't it? Me on the telly. Are you speaking in the language? It's okay, guys. You can go. Man, I might hop out the window. I'll oh, be so scared. <laughs> Don't look. Just go. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I thought he was about to get him. He's scared of him. Why would he even. Oh, man. Man, you better jump. Oh. Hey, Arthur. Yeah. Sorry, guys. 
Like, he doesn't want to be there in there any more seconds. Be nice to that weird dude in your class, people. Because you never know. No. Yeah. What? So he has some remorse. A little bit. He genuinely feels like everyone deserves it. Oh, wow. Man, he looks like he's in his final form right now. Yeah. That is so creepy looking. He's about to go on that show like this. Those are those sayers I was talking about earlier. The symbolism. Oh, look at him dancing he's on, them on them now. Yeah, yeah, he's free. Free as a bird. Who knew it would be this kind of music he's doing that to? And it's just kind of normal for them to wear masks and stuff. So it's like. Who's at the top of those stairs, though? So they just watch him do that? <laughs> yeah. There's no shot he gets up. Man, oh, he couldn't get go. up when a couple 12 year olds stomped on him earlier. How's he gonna get up from that? You learn from your mistakes. Guess so. He's fast as shit. <laughs> How does he run like that? <laughs> How are they gonna find him now? It's kind of like on Scream, when all those people had the mask on. Yes, it was just like Scream 6. I wonder if it was like... Around the same time it came out? Yeah, like if it was like a nod to it or something. Yeah, they're definitely not going to listen to the cops because they don't like the, anybody right now. Not yeah. the rich, nobody. That was pretty smart. Yeah, but he didn't mean for that to happen either. That's what I'm saying. Everything he does, he doesn't really mean for it to happen. He took the mask, but he didn't know those people were going to hit each other. Right, it was kind of coincidental, I guess. Everything's coincidental with this dude. No. Bro, he just shot a protester. It's war now, boy. It's over for you. That's just going to be a casualty. <laughs> oh, he hits the emote. <laughs> Walks away. Yeah. Fortnite. He be chain smoking like a mug. Yeah, like the does. cops are like, gotta go get one. That's why I was go. wondering why he can run like that. Wait, don't that man smoke too much? He said, This is my jet fuel, baby. Two officers on the train were violently confronted by the crowd and tonight are in serious but stable condition at Gotham Metropolitan. <laughs> what a creepy message. Hey, 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 it's hey. Mr. Franklin. Oh, buddy. Come on, oh, gee. That's all bullshit. I feel like I know you. I've been watching you forever. What's with the face? I mean, are you part of the protest? Or? No. No, I don't believe in any of that. I just thought I'd be good for my act. Yeah. You see, this is what I'm telling you. The audience is going to go crazy if you put this guy on. Gee, it's going to work. It's going to work. We're going to go with it. <laughs> oh, he thinks he's, like, taking a stand by putting him on there? Rules, though. No cursing, no off-color material. We do a clean show. You can go on right after Dr. Sal. There's so much to talk about right now, but I just can't interrupt the movie. But he like started this whole revolution in a sense, and he didn't even mean to in a way. Mm -hmm. Well, so did Thomas Wayne. Bring me out. Can you introduce me as Joker? That's what you called me on the yep. show, a Joker. Well, if you say so, kid, you know Joker it is. It's good. He hung on to every word he said, but that rich guy on TV, he didn't even think twice about it. He right? He's like, did I even say that? I said yeah. that. Oh my gosh, are you really about to do this, man? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. It's probably not the same universe. You gotta see our next guest for yourself. I'm pretty sure this guy could use a doctor. Look at him hitting the power up. You may have seen that clip of our next guest. Oh, he's doing that dance to calm down. Look at this guy. He's like, what? So please welcome Joker. I mean, to be fair, he's killing that walkout. Yeah, that is not at all what he practiced. It's a variation of it, though. Oh. <laughs> what an entrance. <laughs> What's her face, though? Like, <laughs> is she pressing charges or not? You all right, doctor? Well, that was quite an entrance. You okay? This is exactly how I imagined it. So can you tell us about this look? That's right, Mary. I'm not political. I'm uh, just trying to make people laugh. <laughs> <laughs> You've been working on any new material? You want to tell us a joke? 
Oh. It ain't so always got. Jokes. Oh, that's what that quote meant. He wanted to like, he wanted to mean something, I guess. Knock, knock. And you had to look that up? <laughs> Who's there? It's the police, ma'am. Your son's been hit by a drunk driver. He's dead. <laughs> No, you cannot joke about that. Arthur, that's not the kind of humor we do on this show. I'm s yeah, I'm sorry. It's been a rough few weeks, Murray. <laughs> Ever since I killed those three Wall Street guys. What? He just confessed it on TV? Okay, I'm waiting for the punchline. There's no punchline. It's not a joke. Like, cut it. He said, cut, cut that damn tape. tape. Cut that damn tape. And why should we believe you? got nothing left to lose my life is nothing but a comedy you think that killing those guys is funny the anxiety is starting to creep up i know and i'm tired of pretending it's not comedy is subjective murray isn't that what they say they All do of you did this to start a movement to become a, a symbol do i look like the kind of clown that could start a movement i killed those guys because they were awful everybody is awful these days it's enough to make anyone crazy they couldn't carry a tune to save their lives. Oh, why is everybody so upset about these guys? If it was me dying on the sidewalk, you'd walk right over me. I pass you every day and you don't notice me. But these guys, what, because Thomas Wayne went and cried about them on TV? You have a problem with Thomas Wayne. Too. Yes, I do. Nobody's civil anymore. Nobody thinks what it's like to be the other guy. You think men like Thomas Wayne ever think what it's like to be someone like me? They think that we'll just sit there and take it like good little boys, that we won't werewolf and go wild. Not everybody, and I'll tell you this, not everyone is awful. You're awful, Murray. Me? I'm awful? Oh yeah, how am I awful? Playing my video. Oh. Inviting me on the show. You just wanted to make fun of me. Someone was killed today because of what you did. What do you get? I don't think so. When you uh -oh. cross I think a mentally ill loaner with it. a society that abandons him and treats him like it's trash, you get what you fucking deserve. Oh! Was that real? That wasn't a fantasy, right? He actually shot him. I mean, like. People are like reacting, you know. Sometimes they it doesn't. Sometimes seem... they don't react. Yeah. Good night, and always remember. That's. They cut the feed, man. So it, it happened. So I, I think. Franklin as Joker is currently under arrest. You see all the riots on TV? It's almost scary to post that because like it could just bring some uproars. This is nuts, man. This might be crazier than the Dark Knight. I don't know. Oh. So once again, man, he didn't even mean to do this. He just shot that guy. He didn't try to start he all this. He went into this thinking he was about to kill himself. He thought it said, I hope my life makes more sense than my death or something. Yeah. My death makes yeah. more sense than my life or something. Wow. Yeah, you see doctor everywhere. You see medicine everywhere. Strip clubs everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Stop laughing, you freak. This isn't fun. Yeah, the whole fucking city's on fire because of what you did. I know. Matt squirt his ass in the face with pepper spray. Isn't it beautiful? Of course, but it's so chaotic. They look, he's at our hero. Yeah, he's their martyr. Well, if he's dead, I don't think he's dead, but. Boy, maybe the Joker is a symbol just like Batman. Zorro the gay blade. What was that? <laughs> is that Thomas? He was there? The last place on earth I'm going inside right now is a movie theater. Right. Oh, they're leaving the theater. Just like in the damn other oh, one. Oh, yeah, like in uh, no Batman way. Begins. No, no way. Oh my God. <gasps> All three of them. In the streets. Oh no. Bro, I got chills. There's no shot. You get what you fucking deserve. <gasps> Bruce is the pearls. So all that was once again because of him and he didn't even mean for that to happen. What the freak, dude? 
So he's okay. But that's all he wanted his whole life, but he always wanted it in a good way, and now it's like the opposite. So he does said, he embrace I'll it? I'll take what I can get. Yeah. He decided, screw it. I'll just see the humor in it. Right, I I deck him try my best. Wow. Oh wow. And at that moment, he became the Joker. The Joker was born. Wow. Can't answer for his crimes. Look at all those people behind him. That's his army. Oh. He like hits the touchdown dance. Dude, put on a happy face. So they're the underclass. They're forced to go to work, not make any money, show up, smile. And so he's symbolizing that. He's like, okay, you want me to just smile in a sense, you know? But low key without even meaning to. <laughs> right, yeah. I guess he's just the end result of pure chaos on every level. But what a fragile town they have, like the trash is, you know, it's. Well, that's why born. someone like that is able to be born. Right. <laughs> it would be hard to interview. What's so funny? <laughs> that's the joke. Do you want to tell it to me? You get it. I'm so freaking confused right now dude i really have because to that seems this. like that happened well, yeah. what happened how did he go from that to being institutionalized i know right let's see he was just free he had an army behind him unless he fantasized it unless that whole story that we just watched was fantasized and that's the joke the joke is none of it was real let's we'll see Ooh. blood killed her. so killed her and now is he is he about to escape man you guys gotta tell me let me know like, isn't that funny? Because, like, was this how he got out? And then, then all that happens? Or is this after? Or is this... And you know, in the Dark Knight, he was telling his backstory, but it was different every time. It's almost like you don't know what the hell is going on with this self. I'm gonna roll myself up. That's not Ben. I gotta know more. <laughs> like, what was that? All right, guys, so that was the Joker, man. This movie followed the story of a young man, basically, who was extremely mentally ill, and he thought that he had a chronic condition, right, where he would basically laugh uncontrollable in really weird circumstances, and it basically led him to have a very isolated life, which led to a lot of social issues and a lot of things like that. And not to get too ahead of myself, but it turns out all those issues weren't real. They were actually just a big cover up. His mom told him to cover up the fact that she allowed was him to be. Him. Well, I think she allowed him to be abused. Yeah. Right. Well, in return is abusing him because you're allowing that. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Oh man, that was crazy. And so, and we that was followed... his coping mechanism was to just laugh because remember she said, after all this, I never heard him cry. And he was just he had all these issues, and they were all being held together with a few little lies. And once those lies collapsed, this guy. This whoop, fell off the new deep person, end. but it's confusing, man, because we learned in this movie and we're going to start at the beginning and work our way through it. But we did learn in this movie all the fantasies about that girl having a, a social relationship, especially with a female. All those were fantasies and it was pretty obvious looking back, but I didn't really realize it until that moment happened. But he was extremely nervous yeah. about everything. This guy just had no ability to conduct himself in any type of social situation unless None. it was people he was extremely comfortable with which was part of his clown show, quote unquote. Right. And when it came to this girl, he managed to get really comfortable around her really quick. Which which made it seem weird, right? Right, it was like, a little it was, weird it made in it that sense. It made it suspect, so to say, because their interaction was like really negative at first. I thought the direction the show was going to go was she was going to be insane too, and she oh. was going to basically encourage him to give in. To oh. like, because she was the first one to do the gesture with her right. hand and stuff, so that just kind of threw me off. Yeah. And but then, looking back... And he gave it back, and then she just was like, mm, like, that was it. Well, it was weird. Like Even those detectives who were like sitting there trying to talk to him... You would imagine the detectives wouldn't be so nice about it. Like right. if they're suspecting you of the most publicized crime in the city. They're not just going to sit there and, hey, just whenever it's convenient for you. Right. You and that, that's what I was kind of noticing. The ones where I feel like he was being delusional were ones that were really like nice towards him, like very uplifting. And when You're the he hero. was calm. Yeah. And he wasn't uncontrollably laughing. 
So you notice the first time he had his little uh, his little fantasy, right, of going on to that show and he's yeah. sitting there with his mother. The guy basically singles him out on stage, which the odds of that happening and interrupting your show and the way that you plan on your show to go to interrupt the show, point someone out on stage, that in itself is a fantasy. Right. That, right. And then that happens. And then not only that, he pulls him on stage and tells him that he'd give up, you know, everything an elitist would want. Right. Yeah. To have a son like him. Right. And so that was really wild to me. So that seemed like it wasn't that was the first little clue that I got that he was just sitting there fantasizing. And like he definitely needs a dad figure. That's what I got. I got like the dad figure situation for him was just totally missing. Well, if they wouldn't have shown that whole that whole delusion in his head, if they wouldn't have actually showed it on the screen, we both could have assumed that that was his hero. They could have said it without showing that. So since they put it on the screen and made it visual and then snapped right back to present day, that sort of told me that it was like mental. Right. Like he had a lot going on. And he was obviously very mentally ill. Yeah. And it was weird. Like he just had fantasies. Almost like when he was stumping the trash, he was just imagine stumping his boss that fired. Like, right. Over. He was just like everything that was like, oh my gosh, everything. Like even when he was performing at that, at the at the comedy club that yeah. to me was questionable about what was real and what was fake there did he even ever go on stage i don't know i mean he had to yeah right? he went i think he went on stage unless so the thing is it all comes down to did he end up going on that show and killing that guy in real life is that something that actually happened or did he fantasize about it but he got jammed up by the cops right yeah because the way he walked out on the stage was so smooth and elegant and he seemed like a very talented individual right and in the show the guy had you know, he would stumble over his own feet and mm-hmm. fall with because he had crippling anxiety. So that That's, was really weird to me. Right. I don't even know if that part was real. That's why when you see him and he's like all like he's like He walks on there, kisses like, this lady. As far as I'm concerned, he's never even kissed a lady before. Right. And he straight just gives her the two I know. lips and a smack. He shows her exactly how to do it. But it's right. like to me, I don't that's the hard part. Like, do you believe when he's doing all those dances? It seems so circumstantial, but at, from an outsider's point of view, it looks so calculated. But a part of me feels like that had to have happened because that was basically the catalyst that ended up killing Bruce Wayne's parents. If that makes yes. sense, so it had to have happened. It was just very weird in that sense because looking back, I didn't, I didn't really know what was real and what wasn't. Yeah. Basically, in my mind, anytime he was calm and collected, like the first time he was, like when he was talking to the cops, right. And he's like, hey, blah, blah, blah. The way he handled the cops. And then he walked into a glass. Like, I right. get that part. But I would imagine he'd be stumbling and stuttering and laughing and getting nervous and yeah. sweating. Like, ah, oh, Right, yeah. right, right. But he didn't do any of that. He handled his business. Right. Almost like the way he wished Just he so could. Just so chill. Just mind. like, yeah. And you, like, he did the crime. So for him to be so common, that was strange, too. So it's kind of like, it kind of makes you understand the joker character to not understand the joker character you know what i'm saying well it seemed like and i don't mean to interrupt you babe but remember when he was in the subway and he shot those people and then he had that realization like oh snap i actually did that in that moment it seemed like it was trying to show us that he had a hard time distinguishing like reality reality from from, yeah yeah and so dude what else was not real in that he killed okay so he kills his mom which you know I don't condone it, obviously, but I can see why he did. Right, because like finding that out and like having just threads to hang on to, you're going through a really crappy life. Well, he was at a breaking point right. before he was at a breaking point. Right. Yeah. He just basically even said it himself. He's lived. He lived his life with not one minute of happiness. And you know, but in the, always smiling. And in the movie, they were really trying to express how bad Gotham is, and they do that through like crime and stuff. But I thought and it was trash. really interesting. To me, trash. That's I loved I how they use trash in this movie. Yeah. Because it was very subtle. It was just enough to give you an idea of what the city's like. Mm-hmm. I mean, if our society comes to the point to where we can't even find a way to successfully pick up trash in our infrastructure, then, I mean, our society's collapsed. It's going to go chaotic. Right? right. And I love how the movie chose trash as an example. And then you could also spin it around and you could say the reason is because the people in charge, the rich or whatever. I use the word elite. Some people use the word rich, whatever. Same thing. Um, they think of their population as just trash or and it was in so Bruce symbolic. and not Bruce Wayne, Thomas Wayne's words. He said clowns, which yes. they took and embodied that. So when he called them clowns, they said, okay, we'll mock you and we'll be clowns. But it was like weird because the Joker was a clown, but he didn't even like, it was Thomas Wayne who told everyone they were clowns. And just because this guy killed someone on the subway, 
ironically at that moment it was him who was the symbol yeah and that's what was so weird because you know in the dark night the joker was a man of action he went out and got things done he was calculated he made plans and then he 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 made calculated plans under the guise of chaos right right and so but this character i mean he just woke up one day and got his ass beat and then everything just sort of fell apart for him. You know oh, what I mean? You know another moment I feel it could be a delusion? What? When what now that you're talking about it, the guy who got the gun, remember he said like when you get a gun from someone, okay, yeah, first of all you're underground, that's sketchy. But second of all, like where's my money, especially in this time of moment, where where's my money? You need to yeah, pay me for this. Yeah, you don't just grab a gun for someone. Well, he like, said that's weird. he said you'll find out when to pay me you're my boy and that's like that seems like a moment where he imagined that because every time someone says something nice to him like you're my boy this or that it's like fate and then he does say to the the other guy <laughs> he kisses him on the head and he says you're the only person who is ever nice to me but the other guy was the first person in this movie to show him love and not only did he show him love he committed a crime he was he put himself on the chopping block in order to get a gun for him because in his mind it was justified because that he didn't want to see guy, his that was Random. the guy that walked in the, the guy who he killed was the guy who gave him the gun. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but he spared the short guy, not that guy. No, no, I, I know. Yeah, I know. But what I'm saying is the guy that gave him the gun was the first person to show him love in the movie. But then he kisses the short guy and says, you're the only person to ever be nice to me. So in a sense, that was saying, made up. Yeah, he made I it got up you. in I'm his sorry. head. I'm no, sorry. no, you're good. But you get what I'm saying? Yes. He made it up in his head. So the guy was never nice and gave him the gun. Maybe the Joker already had the gun and that's why when the or he the, went to him to, for no, it because they say they go what the hell did you bring a gun to the kids hospital where did you get a gun and he, when he's walking out he throws his friend under the bus well maybe you should ask him his friend gets pissed what are you talking about right i didn't give you a freaking gun are you insane right and that makes me think like did he, he made really? it up he made it up the whole thing right. was his fantasy he instead of coping with the idea that he got a gun because he thought he, he either didn't want to accept the fact that he was scared of some teenage kids mm -hmm. that embarrassed him, or he didn't want to accept the fact that in his mind he was doing something wrong or something. So he right. just made up a, a grand delusion. Oh, well, maybe crazy, maybe because, bro. you know, he wasn't allowed to have a gun because his mental illnesses. So, so he had to justify. Like, yeah, he justified it by saying someone gave it to him because, hey, you're my pal. Or maybe... Maybe he's just, you know how the lady said, oh, well, but there's terrible news. You're off your medicine. Yeah. So he was be, he he was coming off of medicine. Yeah. So he's obviously tripping. And maybe he everything that he did in his life, he just, maybe, I don't know, man. Maybe maybe he just can't distinguish reality from not. I, that's what I'm really thinking. really that deep, you know. And he didn't have some grand motive to why he thought that guy gave him a gun. It just ain't his fault. Mm -hmm. But I never really took, I didn't take the Joker to be mentally ill in the dark night. I know I'm not trying well, to compare the two, well, I kinda, two different entities. I kind of did because like the laughter and stuff and, and so, sorry to like, I'm not going off topic, but I just wanted to mention the symbolism. You know how in the dark night, he always left a card at the crime scene. It was kind of a callback, I think, when he had to give that card for Just his uncontrollable. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, you know his uncontrollable yeah. laughing. He like gives a card, and then you know he's like, I don't have no cards or something, or I, I have a condition. Well, anyways, I felt like that was a callback, but I did want to say that, and he is just. When he was doing, when he was in the thing with that lady, the talk with that lady, the social worker. Yeah. He's expressed a lot to her, and and she didn't even respond. She didn't she even. Was the NPC. She didn't even like acknowledge it was said. So you think that he was imagining saying those things because he's not bold enough in real life to speak? Yeah, I, that's what I think. I, that's what that's what I'm thinking, and that's what's scaring me. It's like, so he's like a symbol. He's the symbol to Gotham. I feel like that had to have happened because Batman's sending over two bodies. You know. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that had to have happened to cause like someone random to shoot them in plain sight. But I don't know if it's something he truly believes or he's just like cuckoo. You know what I'm saying? Like, does he truly believe the cause? Because in the Dark Knight, he seemed like he believed the cause. Well, yeah, he exactly. They're completely games. different characters. Yeah. The character from the Dark Knight seemed to be mentally significantly more sophisticated than this yes, character. He yes. seemed borderline genius to where this character just seemed just more realistic. Just it, This character was more of what could happen if the wrong person met the wrong circumstance at the wrong time. Right, but if you do consider, like, I'm not saying this was an origin story, but if you want, if you want to put it in that like perspective, if that was an origin story, then maybe like he acquires those skills as he continues. Well, isn't there another one of these coming out? 
This year in October, yeah. There's another one coming out. Yeah. So that's the that's the thing. You guys said that we should watch this one. Another one's coming out. And if another Joker, the, if this Joker is going to continue forward, he's going to have to be extremely good at killing, or he's going to have to have a crazy team behind him because he's not physically imposing. He gets beat up by everyone in this. Right. You know, he's very fragile. I mean, he he'll, he get, he'll shoot you. Though. And he he's, wasn't smart. I mean, he didn't. He wasn't smart enough to even have basic basic awareness. He thought that he was genuinely going to be a world class stand up comedian, right? He, but you know, like when someone thinks that they're good at like music or something, and then they put it on SoundCloud, and it's just off. Right, he was just a failed just like, comedian. Yeah, exactly. And so he obviously isn't very high mentally, I right? Guess. So that's what's kind of confusing me. I don't know how he's going to look moving forward, but I really liked his character. I mean, this was scary because this was just the common man. I mean, yeah, but it also showed how fragile gotham really was just how fragile because this man just walked into this circumstantial situation and not only that but cr caused complete chaos in the city yeah without even honestly trying to and that's what was funny is everything that happened and i keep reiterating this but it seemed like it was sort of the point of the movie to me it seemed like almost everything that happened to this guy wasn't his fault it was mm. all random chaos like it was all just randomness and chaos and it wasn't anything that was calculated or controlled but like was, if you could fault him for anything it's like giving too too much of a shit about that sign right like dear gosh yeah I don't know. I mean, man, I, mean, movie. I, mean I mean fault him movie. before anything before he actually did you know what I'm saying before he actually does stuff but like at the beginning, all he did was like pursue that sign to get his butt beat for no reason. Yeah, he should have just let the sign go. But he right. was having such hard times. I mean, he can't afford his medicine. Right, his he can't mom afford struggling. A psychologist. Yeah. He has to have like a like a government appointed psychologist, which is scary, mm -hmm. you know. And man, tough circumstances. Tough circumstances. What are we missing? There's got to be something we're missing from this. I mean, the really the only thing I can really note is just like no. I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, Go just, ahead, just like all the you like you said, all the medicine references and stuff that kind of made me think just like, is this real? Is this not? When I was kept seeing stuff like that, it was like symbolic, symbolic, symbolic. Well, it was almost like they were saying, you know, everyone knows it's scary that, you know, every time everyone knows. Let's be real. Right. We're adults. Every you, it's so easy for people to get prescription pills. It, it, it really is so easy. I know that for a fact. Yeah, I broke my ankle, you guys. And. The Basically, amount of prescription pills right. they were willing to throw at her was unbelievable. It really is unbelievable. Um, and this show is basically saying that not only is it scary because so many people are on them, then they get reliant on them, then they have to come off. And then mm -hmm. once you start coming off that stuff, it's worse than not even being on right. it. Right. It's the just times. chaotic in a so lot of ways. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it was just an interesting way to like dapple with that problem. Right. And the the movie had a lot of symbol symbolism in it, and there's a lot of stuff in there. That's very obvious, like even in today's society, like, you know, they would much rather throw prescription drugs at you than to diagnose true cause problems. Like he was trying to understand who he was as a person. He was abused as a kid. And in this time and age and city, he didn't even have a right to know. Right. Like he had to go get God he knows did, who he to get jacket. all that information. He yeah, he had to commit a crime just to figure out who he was. So the city sets you up to fail a lot in that way. And and he was embodying that by just being himself like right so it, it, he was basically the clown that thomas wayne was talking about he was that clown without even trying to be that clown so i guess that explains his psyche like it just sucks like everything that's happened to him is not good yeah tough life man tough life what and what about the tv host i feel like that's important we should probably say something about that like him dying him getting killed well i mean if you're going on TV and if you're killing the most famous person, you know, a lot of, if you're going to be the type of person who's going to riot in the streets and be angry and all that stuff, then obviously you're going to be hyper obsessed with what's going on on the TV and you're going to be looking for outside motivations for fuel. Right. So I'd imagine these people cannot stand that guy that's on TV. Right. Because then he gave the whole spill. The reason you're poor is because you're dumb and lazy and I'm better than you. And I woke up and tried and you woke mm -hmm. up and watched TV all day. Like I get it. Right. And so he went on that whole spill and if you're the type of person who's going to put on a mask and commit the, all these crimes and riot, you don't give a damn about what that guy's saying. Right. So everything he's saying is just pissing you off. And then when that guy goes on TV and does that, that's the ultimate symbol of liberation and power and, and all that stuff to these people right? and how emboldened they became. 
But like I said, man, I don't even know if that was real. Right. Well, when Genuinely, he that, when he opens up that notebook and he reads that quote that says, "I hope my life. What is it? I hope my death makes more sense than my life." That to me was kind of saying like he was gonna kill himself. That was the knock knock joke. That's the right. one he rehearsed. But when he said that, he was kind of like, "Okay, here's the change I'm gonna make right here." And that to me made it seem like he was more cognitive of what what was going on. It wasn't any more just so circumstantial or I mean coincidental. My thing is. And, and like I said, guys, please let me know in the comments. I could be completely overthinking this, but sometimes we don't overthink it enough. So there's a fine line, right? But what if he never went on that show? He just killed the people on the subway. Maybe he was on his way to the show. Those cops at the top oh, of the actually stairs got actually got yeah. him. And the next thing you know, he's just in that insane asylum. Right. And that's where we end up. I mean, But he had this whole fantasy. And then when the lady asked, what's the joke? And he goes, you wouldn't get it. And then it flashes to Bruce. So it's either... The joke is, um, well, I used to think I was your brother, but now I'm going to be your enemy, so we're still connected. Or it's right. either this whole thing's not real. It's right. all in my head. I, he, I don't know what the joke but is. But he still could have... Okay, so the thing is, the reason why um, the Waynes got shot was because he shot the guy on the TV, so it caused a city outroar. But I feel like... Well, what caused the city outroar was the fact that the cop killed the protester... On okay, the subway, so that could have not which even was been another him. thing right. that yeah, yeah, yeah. he cost because he drugged the cops on the subway because they were pursuing him. But in the midst of all the chaos, another yeah, but chaotic. When they, when they showed the TV, though, they were showing him. They were showing multiple TVs, and he was on all of them, and he was saying the stuff, and then they were like cutting it because they didn't want anyone to hear it. So that's why the only reason I feel like it was true was because he was on the TV getting cut. So it was like, I feel like from that moment on, he was like, captured. and like I said, if it's not true, then that sort of destroys the whole origin of Batman. And we know Batman's real. Well, no, kind of... but that's the thing. He didn't kill Dwayne. Someone random did. Well, yeah, I know. So someone got motivation from him or not even him, just the Joker figure, the clown figure. So that's what I'm saying. Like he could have done, he could have been the purpose by shooting that guy or he could have not. My biggest thing is I just don't understand why he woke up surrounded by thousands of people who were essentially willing to promote him right to the top of their cause. And then the next scene, he's in custody. Right, that could have been another delusion because remember how injured he was and then he gets up and just starts dancing? Like, he's like, you're so injured and now you're going to hit these, like, moves? Right, and what are the odds that you're the only one that survives that And crash? why is no one arresting your butt standing up there? Like, there's a cop somewhere. They're, they're, like, they get He gets arrested somehow. Mm -hmm. So, I don't, I don't know. This movie's pure chaos, guys. Um, let Tell us, know, us your let theories. Us know, let us know. That's so interesting. What's your theories? Where do you think it's gonna go from here? Is it gonna be like, geez, I don't know. Is that maybe you, <laughs> maybe you watch this movie and you just never even thought about it this deep. Maybe we're saying things that you've never even considered. Maybe we're completely reaching. Maybe we're completely overthinking it. But sometimes movies are open to interpretation, and I kind of hate that because I don't feel like too many things in life are open to interpretation. Right. You know, people usually mean what they say, but. This seems like one that maybe isn't open for interpretation, but it will just leave you thinking like a ton. Yeah, maybe there are some things that need to be confirmed though. But right. A lot of you guys have watched this movie multiple times and you've been able to pick up on this. This was this was this was good to me, guys. I say it all the time, but we watch these movies and you know, we edit them and we get them out. Well, we don't always edit them, but we watch these movies, we get them out, guys. We mark them off in the history books, but we don't forget about them. We definitely watch these movies. There's been movies that we've watched that we've watched 20 times. Yeah. We've watched we've watched Endgame four or five times at least. At yeah, this that's point. a good one. Mm -hmm. uh, I watched No Country for Old Men two more times at this point. Well, one other time, and then I watched it all the way almost to the end one day when I was just chilling on my phone. Because a lot of people were saying that I just didn't get that movie and stuff. So went back and rewatched that. This will this will be one of those movies, man. Yeah, We're I definitely, definitely want to rewatch because I want to pick up on, on the mannerisms of the people around him. I think that's it's what I think so, would be so good. To this one would be all. fun because it would just be fun, man. It would. I, but when I watch it, I know I'm going to have so much regret. I'm going to be like, dude, if we could refilm that YouTube outro, that'd be sick. Right. Because I know there's so many things that went over my head. Guys, this No, before we stop, brilliant. though, baby, we need to talk about Joaquin Phoenix, though. How amazing he was. Right. This? Because oh, I just want to I just want to give him credit because you you have to give people credit. Right. And he's three for three in my book. He's been absolutely phenomenal. I don't know what your favorite Joaquin, or if I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry. But what's your wa favorite Joaquin, Joaquin Phoenix. Phoenix movie? And 
so far mine would be this one and then of course second is a gladiator but this one right here i feel like he just absolutely yeah like i've never felt so much anxiety throughout a whole film from start to finish the like, reason that it worked guys was because man i know i know people like that like right. i know like i really do i really do i know <laughs> You guys aren't going to get this. You're not. But I know a guy who looks just like that dude was crazy as hell. And he literally thought he was God Almighty. Like in his head, he was the creator of all things. You know what I mean? Like there he really was. He was like the beginning that. of the end. Like they truly believe that. Sometimes. And he genuinely believed that he created this place that he called Lord of the Lovely Ladies Land. He literally called it that. And in his mind, you I'm were. I'm glad we don't know that person. <laughs> I'm glad I don't know well, that person. Yeah. And this was just a guy that was crazy. And he always had these crazy radical ideas and he was always angry and he was always against something and luckily this guy well not luckily it's sad but this guy was physically handicapped in that sense but if this guy would have been able-bodied and younger man there just ain't no telling what this guy would like just so, able to get out there and do some stuff about this guy's it. been arrested guys and I, and I kid you not i don't want to say his name publicly but this man's been arrested over 60 times like oh, I, it doesn't even make sense to me i can't even imagine that i feel like the second time they'd beat the hell out of me and i'd be under a jail forever but <laughs> 60 times in and out the system man and, and eventually i guess they just decided he's just old and fragile so then they started putting him in like mental institutions and stuff but just crazy man this movie was relatable in that sense and i just thought this was wild uh joaquin phoenix was incredible i could feel your heart beating i could feel the pulse pumping through your fingers you're someone who has anxiety pretty good anyway so I could feel you on this one, man. I well, could really tell. that's the thing. I was, when I saw him with his anxiety, I'm like, can I relate? And, you know, so, and even in this channel, sometimes when I don't know how to react, I laugh. So I'm sitting there trying to relate yeah. to can I, is this how I feel? But it's not where I'm just uncontrollably like, you know, I can I can handle it. I can like I can make it stop. I can be like, you know, stop. Yeah, when I my get anxiety, anxiety, I go. <laughs> <laughs> anxiety is bad literally it's like a it's like a you feel like a goldfish and your bowl's like draining or something sometimes so it's like it can be tough so i put myself in his shoes through some of this and i'm like dude like i couldn't imagine going through that in your life and then it being a whole lie and you're basing your whole life off a lie yeah yeah medic like if you're if you have like a medical condition where you have induced anxiety that would really suck. But if you just have anxiety, I mean, there's things you can do to help that, you know. And it, I mean, out, he was trying. He went to social services and. Well, that's what well, that's that's what I'm saying. A lot of people have like really bad anxiety, right? But it's because the reality is, is for the last seven years, they haven't went outside. They haven't spoken to anyone. There's seven years without having any like social contact with people. But yeah. then there's people who genuinely have. Actual like traumas and issues and, you know, medical conditions and stuff and. I couldn't imagine that. Like you knew a lady like that. I'm not going to say her last name, but a lady named Lisa who had so much anxiety that she was basically not very functional as a human right. just because the amount of anxiety that would come out of her mouth every time she would talk. And a was, lot of anxiety and at least from my point of view is predetermined stuff. And that yeah. was her, like she would come into a shift and just already know like the, a fire was going to happen or something like that. So yeah. it's like, you know, you know, there's people like that, but all you can do is just, Tell, try to help him out guys like that's all i can say is just try to just un calm him down and just try to help him out and that's it because you don't want it to end up like joaquin phoenix just did no one no one showed him love no one cared except the little guy and you saw what happened i mean i guess four people can be sitting at a table just chilling not saying a word just staring at their spoons four thing four people can be sitting there and everyone can be completely fine and from my uh, like from my observation point everything is calm like the world's in calmness but one person can be over there completely just sitting there, but internally they're having a complete, you know, anxiety meltdown because they're so insecure, whatever the case may be, because they're in this certain setting they're not used to. And that can cost them to act and do and do so many crazy, bizarre things. And these are just normal people. Yeah. These are just normal people. And it's scary to think what somebody who's on seven different medications suffered abuse lives in a corrupt place feels and like he's the person in charge of the household like because he's taking care of he's someone. in charge of a household with another mentally ill person. oh my gosh not like, only a mentally ill person a mentally ill person who's culp who's essentially culpable and helping abuse you in a sense so, right so i don't know how the hell they got along love, bro like and that person's done nothing they from 
What? Who are they renting from? I don't know. Like, who's going to let you rent from them? Like, two mentally ill Yeah, people? like, did you not have to give, like, some type of... crazy. No, Gotham's wild. That's all I can say about Gotham. Y'all don't care about nothing. Oh, they probably just paid a couple shillings. <laughs> Didn't say nothing. They probably just picked up a few trash bags. <laughs> yeah, facts. Gah. I'd have me a job if I was in Gotham. I'd be the dude picking up the trash. Yeah, for I'd free. I'd be like, hey, everyone can pay me $5. I'll go pick up trash all day. I'll be rich. I'll be making more money than all y'all. Um... That movie was crazy, babe. Is there anything else we really need to say about it other than the fact that... It, it was just one of those that I'm just, like, flabbergasted at. I'm just like, what was that movie? Like, it's not often you watch... You, well, it's it's very often that you watch a movie and you realize this is worth the second look because there's mm-hmm. so much that goes into it. That's every movie. It's not often I watch a movie and feel like, man, I really need to rewatch it so I can make sure i understood what i just saw and and something else that's nuts guys is i saw dc so you know i'm sitting here looking for some superhero element to it and i i y'all might think this is goofy and maybe even some people are like stupid or dumb in the comments whatever i don't care but when he went into the refrigerator i was like okay here it goes here's a superhero element he's about to go to a portal let's go but no he just was in the refrigerator for no reason i was like what the heck Uh, you know when i see things like that on tv guys i don't really know what you guys think a lot of you guys are smarter than me. So a lot of you guys are going to be, oh, October, actually blood vessels actually expand and there's more blood flow and it goes to the brain and your heart pumps better and anxiety levels go down if you increase the temperature in the refrigerator. And I get all that right, but I'm not a doctor and a scientist. So in my mind, the dude's just trying to like cool his head off. Right. <laughs> like, I just like use physically. simple metaphors. Yeah, physically. Yeah. But for me, you know, I saw it was a superhero movie and I, I was low-key waiting for that element. I didn't, I didn't definitely wasn't thinking there was about to be a portal in there for well, sure. Th- I, I mean, there was you a know, you know how it goes. You know how they go. So I was like, you know, I, every time we turned a corner, I was like, oh, is there going to be something? When he started running fast, I was like, is he about to hit it in the sonic speed? Like, I thought the man was about to come out with mayonnaise all over his face or something. That's what I thought. You know, or just something. You know, I thought something. But to be honest, I applaud the movie in that way because this was the most not superhero superhero movie. Yeah, this movie changed the game, man. This movie Absolutely. really changed the direction that superhero movies can go in the future. Biggest thing to me, guys, the biggest takeaway to me is... I love the drama of it. I just for I just I'm sorry I said that. No, you're good. I'm so, go I'm sorry. Ahead, go ahead. But I just hey. love the drama of that. Like I I do like Marvel to a sense. I do, but I like DC's drama so far. It's darker. It's called drama. DC well, means drama comic. Well, the problem is with Marvel and we've mentioned that. it several times with Marvel. Marvel adds they always try to add too much lightheartedness. So in every Marvel movie recently, they always have to throw a character in that's just a little too lighthearted. But hey, let me let me say, jokes. very family friendly. We will get the boys to watch a Marvel movie, but I will not get the boys to watch this. <laughs> and I and I like Marvel. I like Marvel, but comparing Marvel to this is like comparing trampolines to tea bags, dude. They're two different things. So, yeah. Uh, I yeah, I really like this. Maybe it's just because it's it's just got a darker tone. And you know, I feel like after watching this movie. We can sit down and talk about the real psychological issues with our modern day society and why it's failing on so many levels and blah, blah, Mm. blah. And we can talk about this. But with Marvel, I mean, not really. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? It's a little different. You know, there's definitely parallels, but Marvel is more fantasy. This right here just felt like a lot of real life. Right. Yeah. It was just just paralleled into this um, universe, which was incredible. I really I give this one. I don't care if anyone hates on that, but well, I give it a 10 out of 10. You keep saying this universe, but I don't know where this goes. Like, well, I just know just it's Gotham. Gotham's not gonna... in my universe, at least that I Yeah, know. but Gotham's going to look different. Like got, The Gotham of Christopher Nolan's Gotham looked a lot different than this Gotham. Yeah, but I think bottom line, Gotham always sucks. Yeah, it does. I'm yeah, like that's too. what I've gotten from it. It just sucks. Remember when like, we were watching that like... Dave Chappelle skit? He's like, oh, where are they see? It's a tough city, man. Remember? Yeah. In my mind, I was like, oh, Gotham. Oh, Gotham. It's a tough city, man. <laughs> yeah, it's like... It's like if you want to live somewhere cheap, but like have your life suck, go move to Gotham or something. But right. it seems like it's not even cheap. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm glad Gotham's not a real place. Uh, and I'm glad I, we live in the country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon if you guys want to see the full uncut reaction. I know I'm like a broken record, but I need to get a little more creative with how we plug Patreon. Maybe I should just start grabbing it and plucking it into the TV. Maybe I, I need to work on my editing. Hey, but before we go, who is your favorite Joker? Joaquin or Heath? I'm going to piss people off. We just dropped The Dark Knight on YouTube today. As of recording this, I'm hoping that movie's doing good. And But, hey, let's put it this way. There was 11-year difference in between those. I can't answer that. I can't answer that. Uh, 
Only because, guys, I don't know, man. I, that's impossible to say because. And we still have to check out Jack Nicholson's version of the Joker, too. Well, someone said today, yes, it's true. Jack Nicholson was the best Joker. And I'm just like, how? Like, how could he be the best Joker after seeing what I just saw? But when we saw him on The Shining, though, I do want to add, I, I do see him doing the Joker after The Shining. He was a very sadistic man on The Shining. So it would be good to see him as a role. Maybe that's why it'd be harder to see him as a Joker to me because I didn't saw him on The Shining. Yeah, but on The Shining, he And to me, he that's just me the guy who vibes. plays at all of the Lakers games. Oh, he yeah. just sits at all the Lakers games. So that's how I knew him growing up. Um, so you just don't want to answer. I feel like I can't answer either because I feel like there were two different impossible. entities. That's impossible. It's so hard to say. It's so hard to say. And both mo if both movies were psychological dramas like this and they both had the same tone of darkness and if they were both in the same ballpark, I can answer. But they're not. They're two right. different tone of movies. And I will say, if this does end up being an origin story for that Joker, it, it would still work, though. It would still work. I like this movie better. I'm not going to lie. I, I like this movie better, but only because it gave me more to think about. But I did like The Dark Knight. I thought The Dark Knight was beautiful and symbolic. And I thought, especially in the end, man, uh, you know, he's the Dark Knight. He's the knight that we, we need, not the one that we want. You know, and then he takes all the... All that stuff's beautiful, man. I yeah, love it. But this I one, do. And that's the wholesome part of my heart. But then there's the other part who's into like crimes and who's into like crime thrillers and, you know, stuff of that nature. And this right here was it for me. I, I really am sad I missed this one because, you know, I do I do like thrillers and like crime dramas and stuff like that. So this was right up my alley. So I right love that. Alley? Yes. Right so, up my gin alley. Um, and, and I've mentioned it several times. I'm going to shut up, guys, and get out of here. I know I've been trying to get out of here like 10 times, but... Sorry, I just don't want to leave. You know when you watch yeah, something so good? good movie. You that watch something so good, good you just don't want to leave sometimes. Here we are. <laughs> At the very beginning of our journey, when we first started Marvel, we mentioned that superhero movies and stuff man it's just not what we were into at all yeah i never saw a superhero movie came out and was excited it was actually the complete opposite i would see a trailer come out for a superhero movie and i would immediately dismiss it because i don't watch superhero right movies. i so feel like the generation under us might have like right yeah but us no and a lot of people can't like a lot of people have a hard time genuinely like this is the first time y'all watched Avengers? Y'all lying. No way. But seriously, it was because we didn't watch 20 movies to want to watch the Avengers. Right, right, yeah. And so... It was kind of a commitment, so to say. In that sense, I also put this movie off. Like, I yeah. remember scrolling through and looking for something to watch, and I would never settle on a movie. I would always go for either a documentary or a TV show. And I would always just pass this because I just wasn't in the mood well, to watch I was a superhero like, movie. I was like, I never saw The Dark Knight because I, I heard The Dark Knight had the Joker in it, right? I heard that growing up. Whatever. I kind of was like, cool, whatever, but about it, whatever. But then I heard that there was one just called The Joker or whatever. And I didn't think about watching because I never watched The Dark Knight. So I didn't think like, you know, I thought it was something that was related. Well, I watched right. The Dark Knight, but I never watched the first Batman or the third one. Right. I just saw The Dark Knight. I, I didn't even know there was a first one. So I can someone tell Knight us in the, the comments, Knight. especially on Patreon, what does The Joker have to do with anything? What is this? What was this? Like... Was it a whole new thing? I see what you're saying. Thing? Is this going to branch off into like a whole new trilogy? Is this going to be something moving forward? Or did somebody decide, hey, you know what? I just want to make a Joker movie and see what happens. Right. Because if you did, it's so cool how you incorporated the Batman story to Alfred even. Like Alfred was even in it. Let me just be clear before we get out of here. Once again, the reason that I said that I prefer this movie to The Dark Knight, which I don't know that I do. It would really just depend on the mood I'm in. Yeah, it's mood. It's only because this one is just a psychological thriller and there's a huge twist in it and the yeah. way that in the dark Knight, the big twist in the dark Knight to me was when he shows up and rachel wasn't there it was the exact opposite and then he's got to choose between saving harvey or, or saving rachel the, twi that the was twist, the twist to, me to me was the end where he was like when harvey was the hero where batman wasn't that was the twist to me it was a slow twist for sure yeah which but like you say this movie right here that we watched that might be a good for a one or two more time watch whereas dark knight i would watch you know when i'm just feeling in the mood to watch something like i might watch this when i'm in the mood well but yeah but we but the i just want to know the answers you guys i don't I know just this one's know the dark answers. though yeah that's, that's what I'm the saying. only thing i don't really put on like, like I'm, I'm not usually like damn what's the darkest shit i can find before i go to bed yeah, you know that's yeah. normally not what i do so in that sense i can see what you're saying but yeah pound for pound i can't compare the actors i mean you know what I'm saying? I mean, you got, you know, you got Brady Mahomes. You know what I'm saying? Just go in. You got you two know? heavyweight champs over here. So it's just one of those things, man. You know, no disrespect to either one. I, I, I can't possibly do that. Each Joker in their own right brought a complete different swag to this. Mm -hmm. I definitely thought so. 
I it's it. just interesting. That's what I'm saying. I'm loving to see these different portrayals of these characters. Whereas I feel like a lot of people in life just might not like to see other because you have yours and then you're comfortable, you know. Well, I don't love a remake. I've said that I don't love times. I don't I love don't... a remake either, but I'm loving these different adaptations because they feel so unique. Well, I don't like a remake of the same story, but I, I think that remakes can work. I don't yeah. think they always do, but I think this one did because yeah. this one had nothing to do with anything that we just watched. Right. Like, and it really didn't. Right. You know, it was just very yeah. thought provoking, very gritty, very crime thriller. Just good. And it really makes you wonder, man, about reality and perception and what's real and what's not. Like, bro, I woke up today. Was yesterday real? I don't know. I got the memory. Was the memory <laughs> implanted? Was today the beginning of my life? I mean, obviously, I don't believe that. But if you're someone like this, you know, he's contemplating that stuff. He said his whole life he thought that he didn't really exist. And I don't know if that was metaphorically, like, you know, poor pity me, or if he genuinely meant, like, I've contemplated with the idea, am I actually existing in four dimensional real reality. Yeah, when he, you, you know, know what, what I mean? Now like, that I you know. just said that, what if he was just sitting there in Arkham the whole time and the ends when he actually gets out? Like, you know. know what I'm saying? What if maybe that was he, all a dream? Maybe he said that because in his mind, reality and fiction is just such a blurred line that he, even himself has enough awareness to realize that he, he doesn't know, dude. So, I love this movie. I, I genuinely... We could go on and on yeah, doing this, yeah. boy. I could go on I and on. I definitely want to watch it again, but please let me know in the comments where we're where we're getting warm, where we're getting cold, what we're missing, and just let us know, man. Let us know. Somebody just... You know, you guys are awesome. One of you guys will just let well, us know. Well, I'm sure someone's watched like a director thing where they've straight up told the answers. Oh, yeah, yeah, or, yeah. We could do that. We yeah. could watch like a YouTube. Oh, I'm going to go thing. watch and explain right now. <laughs> Bye. Gotta yeah, go. Maybe we could do that. <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to check one of those out and just hopefully not feel really stupid so we've been recording or this outro for like what 40 minutes at this point yeah because it was like so i really hope this movie that did to me <laughs> this ain't 40 minutes of us being idiots but <laughs> yeah, that's what well you get be. over here man for real we watch these movies it's as raw as you know we didn't even pause Normal, sometimes we'll dog, pause so. and try to take some notes but this one right here i just whoa it was we chaotic right it, like babe. my mind yeah that was fun guys we'll see you on the next one